This lesson will focus on calculating the radius or diameter from the broad general education. If given the area or circumference of a circle, we can work backwards to calculate either the radius or the diameter. As the formula is for a full circle, we must always work with the values for a full circle. Example 1. A circle has a circumference of 340 metres. Calculate the diameter of the circle. In example 1, we've been asked to calculate the diameter of a circle with a circumference of 340 metres. So we've only been given the circumference, so that's what we're going to have to work with. So we are told that the circumference is 340 metres. So I will begin with my formula, C is equal to pi d. Now we're looking to find the diameter and we've been given the circumference of 340 metres. So therefore, in place of the circumference, we know that that is 340. So that is now equal to pi multiplied by the diameter. Now I want to just solve for the diameter that's currently been multiplied by the pi. So what we can do here is we can take the pi over and divide opposite side opposite operation. So 340 divided by pi is equal to the diameter. Now if I wanted I could to switch this round and I can easily write d is equal to 340 over pi. If that makes more sense for you, you can do that. And let's then type this into our calculator. So we'll press our fraction button and then we'll get 340 divided by pi. So then we have diameter is 108.225 and that keeps on going. So the diameter to two decimal places will be 108.23 and then our units in this instance are metres. Example 2. A circle has an area of 560 square centimetres. Calculate the radius of the circle. In example 2, we're going to look to calculate the radius of a circle given the area of 560 square centimetres. So, as we've been given the area, we're going to work with the area formula, which is capital A is equal to pi r squared. Therefore, the area is 560. So we're going to write 560 is equal to pi r squared. Now, as with previous, if you want, you can flip this round. It's totally up to yourself. Some people prefer it, so let's do that. We'll say pi r squared is equal to 560. Now, I'm looking to calculate the radius. So just now, it's currently been squared and multiply by pi. So let's just leave the radius squared here and we'll now have 560 divided by pi. Now if you think back to Pythagoras, the opposite of squaring something was taking the square root. So the radius will be equal to the square root of 560 over pi. Now make sure your square root sign is over the full entire fraction. Let's go to our calculator. So we'll hit our square root button first of all, then our fraction button. So that will be 560 and then let's put in the pi. So that will come out as 13.351 and it continues on. I will round. So it is 13.35 centimetres. Example 3. The area of the semicircle shown is 128 square centimetres. Calculate the diameter. In example 3, we're given the area of this semicircle is 128 square centimetres and we want to calculate the diameter. Now, diameter is used in the circumference formula 
radius is used in the area formula. But remember, the radius and diameter are very easily linked because if you multiply the radius by two, you get your diameter. So in this question, we've been given the area, so that means we need to work with this formula. So to begin with, capital A is equal to pi r squared. Now, this is for a full circle. We've been given the area of the semicircle is 128 square centimetres. So from there, area of the full circle, and I'll just put a full circle like that, okay, is going to be 128 multiplied by 2. Feel free to use your calculator if you need to. And that should be giving you 256 square centimetres. So the area of the full circle is 256 square centimetres. So if we come back to our formula, therefore, 256 is equal to pi r squared. So let's flip this round. Pi r squared is equal to 256. Now, I want to calculate the diameter. Before I can get my diameter, I'm going to have to solve for my radius. So radius squared is equal to 256 all divided by pi. Finally, I want to get the radius just on its own, so the opposite of squaring is the square root. So the square root of 256 all over pi. So let's take our calculator and we'll figure this out. Be helpful if I left it switched on. So uh, we've got a square root button and then a fraction, so 256, and then we're going to divide that by pi. And that's going to give me an answer of 9.027 and keeps going. So if I round that to two decimal places, my radius will be 9.03 centimetres. Now that's my radius. I wanted the diameter. So therefore, D is equal to 9.03 multiplied by 2. The diameter is twice the length of the radius. So from there, I should have a final answer of 18.06 centimetres.